For several months, Bay District Schools has worked on the budget for the 2018-19 school year. Tonight, the board approved the millage and final budget with a public hearing, but no one showed up. News 13's Kirsten Mitchell tells us what that means for property owners and the likelihood of teacher raises. The millage rate is equal to the rollback rate, which means that there is no increase in property tax. Good news for property owners as the Bay District School Board approves the 2018-2019 millage rate of 6.122, a reduction of .219 from last year and the sixth lowest in the state. If your property value went up more than what the millage rate can offset, then you could have a property tax increase. And if your property value went down, you would obviously receive a decrease. The board approved a budget of about $385 million for the school year, about a $9 million increase from last year. The problem that we have is the money that comes to us comes with strings. The strings are strict categories the state requires districts to use when budgeting. For example, the state moving money from teacher salaries to safety initiatives. So I can build a new stadium because that's capital outlay money, but I can't hire more teachers or pay more t for teachers. The state's money is still not enough. Using a $5 million loan, the district will continue its school security projects. We've been cranking all summer long and continues into the fall to try to make sure that when you get to a school, you go through a central location and are approved to be on that school. In Panama City, Kirsten Mitchell, News 13. The teachers union has yet to negotiate teacher salaries with the district. To see the budget online, go to our website, mypanhandle.com, or you can check our Facebook page.